Hey guys, welcome to another day in the woods. So today we're gonna to be talking about the solar system that I put on my camper shell. Maybe give you guys some ideas. If you're thinking about putting one on your camper shell, I'm gonna show you how I did mine and uh, super excited um, that it's finally done. I've been wanting to do it for quite some time. But anyway, let's jump into it and I'll show you what I did. So yeah, here we are at the top. So. I have 200 watt Renogy solar panels, which each produce 20 volts and five amps. They are wired in series. So I used the clamps that Renogy that comes with, made for the solar panels, and I screwed them down with quarter inch bolts. And I'll show you the inside here in a minute. Um, as far as my drop down for my cables. I just drilled a hole. I also secured this with a quarter inch bolt. I used Etterbond tape and I used Sikaflex 715 self leveling silicone. So, yeah, pretty simple. The hardest part is getting the thing square. <laughs> because your camper shell is not square, at least this one's not. So this is on a 2018 Dodge short bed, but yeah, let's go take a look inside. I'll show you how I did the inside. So as you can see guys, um, I wanted to maximize my bed space. I didn't want to take anything away from my bed space. That's why I have it up like that. Let's take a look at what I did. So on the ceiling, I used eighth inch angle iron, inch and a half by inch and a half angle iron. So yeah, I just drilled all the way through my angle iron, all the way through the roof with this quarter inch bolt. And I used a lock washer. If you're thinking about doing it this way, guys, one thing that I will suggest is work from the inside getting everything so I mean you can work on the you can work on the outside if you want to but it was easier for me to work on the inside um, using a framing square and just double check and triple checking all my measurements to make sure I wanted it to get I wanted to get it as square as possible um, not that a whole lot of people is going to be looking at it from the air I guess but I, I wanted it square inside I wanted my angle iron square because I'm going to put some netting um, some mesh up here to hold stuff, um, phones, jackets, whatever. But anyway, back to the build. So coming down, my positive and negative from my solar panels, um, coming through, I have a kill switch so that um, I have it on my solar panel so I can kill the power coming from the solar system. So this is a 40 amp Epever MPPT charge controller. Um, great reviews, a lot of great things about this uh, charge controller. Um, I had this exact charge controller on my toy hauler and I've been using it for a while and I've had zero issues. So also coming out of my charge controller, going to my batteries, I have two wires, positive and negative, with an inline 50 amp circuit breaker, 40 amp charge controller, 50 amp circuit breaker, Positive going to this battery, negative going to that battery. So while we're talking about batteries, I have 135 amp hour lead acid battery on this side, and I have 135 amp hour lead acid battery on this side, which are wired in parallel. So I have a 12 volt, 270 amp hour batteries combined, but you can only use 50% of your batteries. So actually I have 135 amp hours in this system. So I also have the Renogy 1000 watt inverter. So I wanted to come out of this inverter and get to my tailgate. So I ran a 12 gauge extension cord. So I have 110, 115 volts just by dropping my tailgate. So right here coming off my positive post, I have 175 amp inline fuse coming down into my inverter this negative goes to the other battery coming around i have 150 amp circuit breaker coming to my fuse box 
coming out of my fuse box, I have just a couple little LED strips just to light up the back here. But I also, I have a cigarette lighter and I have two USB 3.0s. I have two of those just for charging phones, um, charging battery packs, power banks, whatever. But this little guy right here, this MT50, it comes with the charge controller, which gives you a nice little display of what's going on with your system. Right now I've got 13.9 volts in my batteries, so they're fully charged. There's nothing going into them right now, but it tells you what your solar panels are doing. Right now I got 41.2 volts because the sun's out shining pretty good. Nothing feeding the batteries because they're pretty much charged, right? Um, this is the DC that is on the charge controller itself, which it is, from everything I've read, it's highly recommended that you don't use these, that you use a fuse block instead. So as you can see, I have an eye bolt going all the way through, coming out to a turnbuckle with some chain links going down to the tie down in the bed. The reason I did this is because, like I said, I did not want to take away from the space in my bed. I have two two by fours underneath with three quarter inch plywood, and I screwed that two by four on the front just for extra stability. Yeah, guys, the way I have this, it's, uh, it's pretty much not going anywhere. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Just a real quick video. Um, I wanted to show you guys, maybe give you some ideas in case you were thinking about doing it to your camper shell. But that's my system. Um, it may not be the way, but it's definitely a way and it works for me. So let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.